Hello friends, it's me, and today, Mr. Beast old video. Let's check out Ad Blocker for Chrome and Mobile. Show you use it from Mr. Beast together. Let's go. So I'm pretty sure you're not dyslexic and already read the title, and you know exactly what this video is about. And I'm gonna try not to make this your stereotypical, oh, ad blocker's bad, you're killing the internet, you're hurting content creators, yada yada, video. I'm gonna try to provide you with a bunch of information and knowledge, and just, you know, let you come up with your own opinion. Thank you. And one of the Thank first you. things I want to Thank mention so in this video is ad blocker is in fact legal. They were taken to court in Germany, and the judge determined that it's the viewer's right to determine what they want to see on their page. If they don't want an ad, they have a right to block it. They won the lawsuit, and obviously because of the rule of precedent if one court determines that it's legal then other companies can't take them to court over the same matter so pretty much ad blocker is legal and i don't think many people actually knew about that lawsuit but it is legal and i thought i'd start off with that so once it was deemed legal one of the first things google did was they paid them 887 million dollars to be exempt from ad blocker because obviously google makes six billion dollars annually from ads so they paid you know just under a billion dollars to be exempt from ad blocker they didn't want that to make a dent in their earnings and that is that is insane you know if google's willing to toss out that much money i know they're rich but that's still a lot of money then this is a big deal and that shows you the concern a lot of businesses should have because it really is cutting a lot of um at businesses earnings down by a lot and you know the reason the internet's so great is because content is free and the reason the content is free is because of ads for most websites now some of you may not realize how big of an impact ad blocker actually has in 2014 there were 140 million people that used ad blocker daily 140 million million active ad blocker users and on top of that 50% of people between the age of 18 and 29 said in a poll that they use ad blocker and to be honest but having said that please to recognize that you mentioned 2014 right now it's 2024 10 years a decade passed if ad blocker was not a thing i'd be making probably an extra 100 to 200 dollars a month if i'm just being straightforward and honest with you guys it really does make a huge difference and a relatively new app called crystal was released and if you look uh hopefully you can see that it's the number one paid app the number one paid app blocks ads on mobile that is ridiculous so companies you know there's app blocker on computers pcs so they're not getting you know half the money they would from computers and now they're not getting money from mobile because this is the number one paid app millions upon millions of people have it so it's ridiculous Ridiculous. This is going to make a huge dent in people's um, earnings from ad revenue. I mean, I'm not just I'm not just talking about YouTube here. I'm talking about any company. You know, companies that five years ago used to make a million dollars off of ads, they're probably making three to four hundred thousand dollars off of ads. This is really affecting a lot of people. And you may not think it's a big deal, but this is going to make a dent in a lot of people's paychecks. Like it really has a huge impact on people. Mr. Bing Smith a very good point. Note that I'm from the future, so I know what's gonna happen. <sighs> Apocalypse. <laughs> and I hate to be super negative like this, but you know, 100 million plus people are blocking ads on PC. On top of that, the highest paid app is an ad blocker on mobile, and millions of people are blocking ads on that. We're, it's really just putting a lot of people out of jobs. You know, people make a living off this type of stuff, and by blocking it just so it's more convenient for us, we're really screwing over a lot of people. If we're just being honest, I know that's not what you want to hear. I know ad blocker is convenient, it'll make your page load faster and all, but it, it really just it affects people's jobs. It's putting people out of jobs if we're just being frank. Now, obviously, because I'm a content creator, I'm going to be against ad blocker, but I am going to shed some light on it. And uh, it says if you have this uh, ad blocker for mobile, Crystal, that your uh, Safari pages will load four times faster and you'll save 50% on your data plan. And myself personally, I search stuff in my car all the time. And if this saves me 50% on my data plan, I mean, I might even consider paying that dollar for it because I just, I don't know. Like, it, it sucks that it blocks ads and that it hurts people's income, but at the same time, you're saving 50 Background? Yeah. <laughs> percent on your data plan according to this, and we all know people lie, it's probably like only 30 or 40 percent, and then it'll also make your pages load four times faster. So like, I'm not gonna sit here and condescend to you if you use Adblocker, I understand why you use it, and as long as it's a thing, hundreds of millions of people are gonna use it, I'm just saying, you know, maybe whitelist YouTube, or maybe I just, you know, a person you really enjoy on YouTube, watch a couple ads, do something, I don't know. Adblocker sucks, okay, I, it sucks. And I understand why people use it. I understand why it's a thing. And as long as it is a thing, people are gonna use it, which is why it's just really controversial and no one knows where the line is to stop. And uh, one of the things that's actually interesting about Adblocker is when they first released uh, their you know, add-on for Google Chrome, they actually did an ad campaign to get awareness of Adblocker out there. So it's funny how they block ads, but to get their name out there, they actually bought you know an ad campaign on Google and paid money to have ads to get 
their ad blocker out there. Isn't that ironic? Um, you, you'd wonder too why Google would ever advertise that. How Google would advertise something that would end up costing them $887 million. It's pretty ridiculous, but that's the video. Obviously, like I said, I'm a content creator. I'm against ad blocker, but I understand why you use it. And um, I don't use it, but I, I completely understand why you do use it. You know, if, if there's no way to stop it or put an end to it, people are always going to use it. And it's just a fact. So that's pretty much the video and meth equals death. Thank you so much for watching this video, but do recognize that this video came out like a decade ago, around there, uh, things have changed a lot. Thank you so much, hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe, thank you.